Let's take a look at the first scenario and that's where the driver's headlight is working and the passenger headlight is inoperative. Now for this, I'll be using the Devo Pro Kit. Now I'm first gonna start by connecting the 22 foot leads directly to the vehicle's battery. The other side of the 22 foot leads get plugged directly into Devo on the left side where it says battery. As soon as I connect Devo to the battery, you can see that it will illuminate all of the lights and LEDs and it's gonna go through a self test phase to make sure that everything is working correctly. As soon as it's done with that, which only takes a few seconds, you're ready to begin testing. I'm gonna remove the headlight by twisting and pulling straight out and the bulb comes out with the connector. If you can see the component working in any capacity, so in this case, if the light bulb was just a little bit dim, but I could still see it illuminating, I'd leave the headlight connected and I would test the circuits by back probing. But in this case, because I can't see the light bulb working, it's totally off, I'm gonna remove the light bulb by squeezing this tab, gently pulling it straight out, and we're gonna use Devo to act as our known good component. Now based on these terminal sizes, the best forward probe to use are going to be the Devo three millimeter forward probes. And I'm just gonna put those directly into the front of the connector where the headlight bulb was. Okay, my next step is to plug in the five foot test leads to the circuit side. And the other end of my five foot test leads are gonna be plugged into my forward probes. Now in this case, because I don't have a wiring diagram, I don't know which circuit is positive and which is negative, and that's okay. I'm just gonna take a guess, and if I'm wrong, then I'll just swap my leads. So I'm gonna take a guess, and I'm gonna plug my red test lead into that side, and the black test lead into that side. Now instantly, I can see the results with Devo, and I can tell you that the only thing wrong in this circuit is that it needs a new headlight bulb. Now for those that don't care about voltage drop values and don't care about the numeric values, all you have to do are look at the LED colors. Green means a very low voltage drop, yellow means a medium amount of voltage drop, and red means a very high voltage drop. In this case, we can see that our circuit positive and circuit negative LEDs are both green. That tells us that we have a very low voltage drop on the positive and negative sides of the circuit. That is how we know that this car needs a new headlight bulb and that both the positive and negative circuits to the headlight are good. This means all fuses, relays, any switches, all the wiring, any computer control modules that are sending the signals out, all of those are good. The only thing this needs is a new headlight bulb. Now for those who want to see the numeric value like you typically would with a multimeter, we can see that we have a 0.04 volt loss on the positive side of the circuit. And that means from the battery positive to the headlight connector, we're losing 0.04 volts. For those that want to see the voltage available, a quick press of the mode button will change that to the voltage available. Here we can see that the voltage available at the headlight connector is 12.12 volts. The difference between 12.16 volts at the battery and 12.12 volts at the headlight connector is 0.04 volts loss. And that's really nice about the mode button is because you can just cycle between your voltage loss or your voltage available. And that's just simply personal preference. It makes no difference on the testing. Looking at my circuit negative, we can see that we have a zero volt loss. And that means that we're not losing any voltage from the battery negative to the headlight connector. So I wanna take a minute and talk about these really powerful features of Devo. The first is that you can load a circuit down with Devo acting as a known good component where it loads and stresses those circuits. Typical multimeters are passive testing and they don't load and stress circuits down. So the values that you get can often be inaccurate. Now with Devo, it is an active load tester, which means that it can load circuits and stress them down forcing current to flow through them so you can get much more accurate results. The second powerful feature of Devo is that you don't have to memorize voltage drop specifications or try to recall what is a good or bad value. These values are already programmed into Devo. So all you have to do is look at the LED colors. No more guessing or interpreting values and wondering. Devo provides a conclusive answer. 
The third really powerful feature of Devo is that you can see both your circuit positive and circuit negative at the exact same time, also while monitoring your battery. With a typical multimeter, you can only see one circuit at a time. You're only testing the positive circuit or the negative circuit. Devo is a complete picture showing you everything that you want to see, both sides of the circuit, all while keeping an eye on your battery. All right, now earlier when I connected to my headlight circuit, I said I didn't know which circuit was positive and negative for the connector. Now I just guessed, and I happen to guess right because we can see the positive and negative are both green, but let me show you what would happen if I were to swap these and I would have got them wrong. So here you can see that Devo just shows red for both my circuit positive and my circuit negative. So whenever you see red on both your positive and negative circuits, the first thing that I would recommend is to swap your test leads and just see if you got them backwards. If you swap them and the colors remain red, that means that you truly have a problem on both your positive and negative circuits. All right, so now that we know that all this car needs is a new headlight bulb, I can go ahead and confidently replace it. I'm going to remove both of my forward probes from Devo, and I'm going to plug in the new headlight bulb. And we can see as soon as I do that, the headlight works. Here is the old headlight bulb. And here we can see how easy and fast it is to diagnose with confidence using Devo.